look at what's new with mid-surface in SimCenter 3D version 2212. If edges are imprinted on a face of a body that is mid-surfaced, those edges will be imprinted on the mid-surface. If a mid-surface will need to be stitched in the femme to get a congruent mesh, this can now be part of the mid-surface recipe. Upon opening the femme, the mid-surface will be automatically stitched. Here you can see the stitched edges in the femme and cyan. Free edges are in magenta. If you mirror or pattern the mid-surface in the idealized part, before going into the femme, the auto stitch will mirror. In the 2D mesh associated data, if you inherit the thickness information from the mid surface, it will mirror or pattern as well. By far the most significant new feature is improved finite element model update robustness when the CAD model changes. Here we have a rigid spider defined on the small holes and a load is specified at the center. If the holes move in the CAD part, the rigid spiders and loads update correctly. Let's take a look at how to use these new features in SimCenter 3D. Here we have a sheet metal bracket that has a welded gusset in it, as well as a few holes. Let's create some simulation models and go to the idealized part where we'll create a mid-surface. But before we do that, we'd like to have some imprints around the holes where we're going to apply a fixed constraint in order to expand the amount of area that's being constrained. So here we'll create some curves offset in face to the extent that we'd like to constrain the model. and then we'll imprint those edges into the face using the divide face command. Now we can go ahead and mid surface and here we'll make sure that we have stitch edges on in the simulation settings and you can see the imprints in the mid surface. Now before we go to the FEM, we'd also like to mirror the mid-surface to show some of the other capabilities with being able to maintain not only stitches but also mid-surface thickness in mirrored or patterned objects. So here we've mirrored the bracket mid-surface and we'll go to the FEM. Let's turn off the solid body so we can see just the mid-surface. And here let's make sure we have free and stitched edges turned on in the model display so that we can see that the gusset has been stitched in to the rest of the bracket. Next we'll create a shell mesh on the mid-surface. and we'll make sure that the mesh associated data for that mid-surface mesh has inherent thickness from the mid-surface. Then we can plot the thickness and see that not only on the original mid-surface but also the mirrored one that it has a thickness assigned to it. Next to show some of the robustness capabilities in the new mid-surface we'll go ahead and create some rigid spiders and then we'll go to the sim where we'll create some loads and constraints on the model as well. So here we'll put a unit load on the points that are at the centers of the rigid spiders. There you can see those loads applied and then we'll also put a constraint here I'll make the subcase inactive first and then we'll create a constraint on those 
faces that are a result of the imprints. All right, so that model looks good. Also, I've assigned uh, material to the CAD model, so that was inherited. So uh, the model is ready to run. So here we'll run it and take a look at the results. All right, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and make a CAD change. First change that we'll make will be to the gusset thickness. And we'll also move one of the holes that has a rigid spider attached to it and a load. All right, so let's see how those changes propagate. Here you can see the mid-surface is updated correctly. And we'll go to the FEM next. You can see the geometry has changed. All we need to do is hit the Update FE Model button. And we can see that our rigid spiders have updated correctly. And if we go to the SIM, we can see all of our loads and constraints have also updated correctly. So that we can maintain our original results, we'll go ahead and clone our solution. Here, I'll rename it to S2. Then we can go ahead and solve. And before we take a look at the results, let's just review what happened to our mid-surface thickness when we made that change to the gusset. Here, let's go ahead and plot the thickness contours, and you can see that the updated thickness also maps over to the mirrored or patterned mid-surface. So here we can create a two-view layout for viewing our results. And another nice capability is being able to drag your results over into the window that you want to display them. So here we've got our original model on the left and our updated model on the right, and we can synchronize the views and look at our results. If you'd like to see what else is new, please visit the Support Center, where you can see a complete list of all the new capabilities in SimCenter 3D version 2212.